Hello everyone and welcome to St. Thomas. We just checked into our hotel and let me tell you, this is probably one of the most beautiful places that I have seriously ever been to. After we checked in, we had complimentary cocktails and took a golf cart to our room. This is the start of a fantastic vacation. Let me show you all this incredible room. Eric, come look at this bathroom. What's going on with the bathroom? It's just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, okay. Wow. Big shower right here. We have some robes and a beautiful bathtub. Marble countertops. This is just gorgeous. We have one king size bed over here. There's this little couch. And the best part of any beachy hotel room is always a balcony view. So you can see the pool right there and the beautiful ocean. Look at that, so lush and green. We have been up since five this morning. We haven't eaten anything at all today except for snacks. We are ready to go make a reservation and grab some dinner. Just changed for dinner and Eric told me that I look very cute in my outfit today. Eric, you look very cute in your outfit too, babe. Good morning, everyone. So don't judge us, but yesterday after we ate our really late lunch, we came back to our hotel room and we knocked out. We took such a good nap. And then we actually went and had a late night Italian dinner, which was fabulous. And the staff even brought me a birthday cake. It was so, so, so sweet of them. It was raining this morning, but it looks like it's cleared up a little bit, which is wonderful. And we are going snorkeling today on that boat right there. But first, I think we want to go grab some breakfast. Breakfast was great, came back up to the room to apply some sunscreen and I really need to try to use this bug spray that the hotel provided because I already have about six bug bites on my legs and of course Eric has none. I did a poll last night on Instagram to ask you all what bathing suit I should wear snorkeling today and you all chose this white one that I got from Target. I think it's super cute and thank goodness the rain has stopped, at least for now. We are about to head out to the beach and go on our snorkeling excursion. for dinner it started raining again and to be honest I'm feeling really disappointed <laughs> 
Um, I know that sounds silly, but I booked us a reservation at this beautiful restaurant tonight with this gorgeous overlook and we're supposed to take a gondola ride up to it, but with this weather, I just don't know if we're going to be able to do that. I've tracked the weather every day here for like the past two weeks and it's been sunny and beautiful and then the two days that we're gonna be here, it's going to be cloudy and raining the whole time, which while we were snorkeling, that honestly was pretty cool. Like it was a very neat experience to be in the ocean while it was raining on us and definitely had, you know, some sort of effect to it. But I just really hope that our dinner plans don't fall through tonight. I think that's something that as I'm getting older and just learning about traveling is you can imagine this perfect trip in your head and exactly how it's going to go and everything and sometimes that's just not the case but you just have to roll with it and find the good in all of it. And I've wanted to wear this dress for seriously like a year now so I'm just gonna say you know what whatever I'm gonna wear it tonight even if it's pouring rain. The taxi driver took us to the very top of Paradise Point where our restaurant is. Do I have the guts to walk all the way out? Do I have the guts to actually go on that gondola ride? I'm not sure. At our dinner table, you can open these doors right here and then walk out to this balcony with the gorgeous view. Good morning everyone oh my gosh the weather is so much better today we have a little bit of cloud coverage but there is no rain and it definitely feels warmer out too i just changed into this super cute new bathing suit that eric bought me for my birthday and we plan on spending the whole day today just relaxing by the pool Walking into the pool now, and I am loving the vibe out here today. We have music playing, there's lots of people out. Water's a bit chilly, huh? Going past the belly button, it's always like... I know, you're past your belly button, and I'm already like right, to my good. chest. No, it's fine, everything's good. Oh! <laughs> I know I'm not tall enough to stand here. Wait, okay, this is me. <laughs> oh my <laughs> heels! <laughs> I'm not tall this enough. This is me. Nazi, you on your heels? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to the beach now. Oh, I love it. Ocean water is much warmer. Feels fantastic. Just got my drink and normally I always get a pina colada, which that's what this looks like, but it is something different. It is called a frozen Bailey's banana colada. It has Bailey's Irish cream, pineapple, coconut cream, and banana. So let's go ahead and try it. Mm, it's not bad. Our food just got here. This is my hamburger and fries. And then here's Eric's chicken tenders and french fries, which I already told him we're gonna share, and he said no sharing. Every moment tonight, they led me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose it too. Why don't you come sit? After hanging out at the pool all day, we came up to our room to shower and get ready. And we are about to take a taxi over to the Caribbean fish market for dinner tonight. We just got back from dinner and it was fantastic. I had the chickpea stew, which was honestly one of the best meals that I think I have ever had. And now we're back at our hotel watching the thunderstorm to finish out our night. Mm -hmm. 